12 Things Introverts Might Find Difficult by Samantha Chavez. As introverts, we sometimes find mundane tasks more challenging than your average extroverts. While introverts' experiences may be similar, we all differ in the way we deal with them. Here are 12 things an introvert might find difficult. 1. Being told not to be shy. Throughout our life, us introverts will often hear people tell us to stop being shy, thus resulting in us associating shyness with weakness. People tend to confuse the two. Even though there's nothing wrong with shyness, discovering introversion helps us rationalize how we feel, making it easier for us to move around in social situations. Still, most introverts will avoid explaining their introversion to someone they just met in hopes of stopping the don't be shy comments altogether. Two, writing formal emails. This can be a prime source of anxiety for introverts. There will be at least three sessions of drafting, revising, and editing alone before they feel comfortable enough to press send. And even then, we are not safe from number three. Overthinking little things. This translates mostly to face-to-face -face interactions. As we have little to no time to prepare for what we're going to say, we fear we'll make a mistake or spill something we shouldn't. Furthermore, a single phrase during the conversation can plague our minds for the rest of the day even if the other person didn't think much of it. Not to mention, number four, reasoning doesn't make it better. This goes along with face-to-face -face interactions. It's a very distressing experience for introverts, even if it seems minor. Sometimes we're even aware how minor it is and that the other person has probably forgotten about it already. This doesn't stop the dark cloud looming above us telling us we did wrong though. Number five, the idea of social engagements. There's going to be a big gathering, are words that an introvert dreads to hear. We need time to prepare mentally. For this reason, it's important for us to be informed about the time and place of the party, as well as the number of people attending. Make it the least vague possible, and you'll be sure to lessen an introvert's anxiety. Number six, canceled plans. Trust us when we say we had already accepted the fact that we were going to attend a social gathering. We can't help the anxiety we feel the days prior to it though. Hearing about canceled plans is an introvert's joy since it's relief from the lead up anxiety. Number seven, navigating social events. Sometimes we aren't so lucky as to have plans canceled and upon arriving to a social event, we'll do our best to get the greetings over with so we can find a secluded corner in which we can spend time observing rather than participating. It doesn't mean we're alone though. It means we want to stay with people we trust won't force us out of our comfort zone. Number eight, sadly, it doesn't always work out. Maybe we don't find the people we're most comfortable with at the event, and any attempt at making conversation results in us getting pushed further aside if we fail. This can take a toll on introverts and exhaust them within seconds. This leads us to number nine, attempting and failing at conversations. When we are discouraged from speaking because we tried and weren't heard, we'll often be left blaming ourselves for even trying. Number 10, bad days. On particularly bad days, it's hard for an introvert to find motivation to speak to anyone. This might be difficult to understand and even cause friction between an introvert and their friends. Number 11, restlessness and self-disgust. During our bad days, we look for ways to channel our dissatisfaction with ourselves, either by cleaning or being creative. We don't really want to talk to anyone yet, but we need a sign of reassurance. We simply look to distract ourselves. Number 12, being told to act normal. Although introverts prefer to listen instead of participate in conversations, it's common for our silence to draw attention, and more often than not, it tends to be of the negative kind. This can lead to unwanted comments asking us to act normal, thus making us more exhausted. While introverts might share certain experiences, they all affect us differently. What are some things that you find difficult as an introvert?